Jeep has been building tough, rugged trucks for over 80 years. They are an iconic brand with a rich history and the Wrangler is a direct descendant of the earliest Jeep used in World War II. The Wrangler is known globally as the undisputed king of the hill when it comes to off-roading and now it's going electric. Join us as we explain what the Jeep CEO has just said about the electric Wrangler and how it has shocked the market. The Jeep Wrangler is an iconic vehicle that has a rich history most people don't know. When it became clear that the US would join the Second World War, the Army contacted 135 companies requesting a proposal for a light overland vehicle and gave them an impossible deadline of 49 days to supply a working prototype. Only three companies responded, one of which was Jeep, but at the time their name was Willis Overland. All three proposals went into light production and the US Army tested them rigorously. The Jeep MB won the competition and became the standard light vehicle for the US Armed Forces and Allies during World War II. The Jeep Wrangler is a direct descendant of the MB and still has many features such as the removable doors, pressed metal grill and exposed hinges that pay homage to the original. Every year, thousands of Jeep enthusiasts congregate on Moab, Utah for the Easter Jeep Safari. Over the years, the eight-day off-roading trip, which is one of the best rock climbing areas of the world, has transformed into a chance for Jeep to interact with its fans. The company's engineers have been working as a cabal for a number of years to create a number of concept cars that make their public debut at the event. These teasers occasionally give prospective buyers a sneak peek at what the company has in store for upcoming product debuts, or at the very least, products that might be offered as factory extras in the future. The all-electric Jeep Wrangler Magneto concept was presented to the world in 2021. And on April 9 this year, Jeep unveiled a revised version of the Magneto. They called it the Magneto 2.0 concept. These two concepts, as well as Jeep parent company Stellantis's EV Day last July, make it abundantly clear that an all-electric version of the iconic Wrangler is on the horizon. This is exciting news for all Wrangler fans, and we expect this EV model to be way better than its predecessor. For one, EVs perform exceptionally well in off-road scenarios thanks to some unique features of electric propulsion. The EV off-road driver can hear what the tires and suspension are doing because electric vehicles are significantly quieter than their gasoline or diesel-powered counterparts. Also, as soon as the driver's foot touches the accelerator, electric motors begin to deliver power. This is good because a Jeep driven by an electric motor would be more suited to clambering over boulders and ruts on trails as it wouldn't have to deal with drivetrain delays. And all of that is before you get to the environmental impact considerations of trail driving free of tailpipe emissions. Jeep brand enthusiasts will no doubt recall the original Wrangler Magneto concept from 2021. The Magneto concept was an all-electric off-roader with a six-speed manual gearbox, and it gave us our first glimpse of what Jeep's future might look like. The original Magneto concept could match the performance of a V6-powered Wrangler thanks to four 800-volt battery packs that each provided 70 kilowatts of power. With 285 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque, the SUV could go from 0 to 60 in just 6.8 seconds, which is impressive for anything this side of a 392. That seemed pretty quick, but it didn't really have impressive horsepower. Enter the Magneto 2.0, which has taken things to a whole new level. The Magneto offers the same 30-inch water fording capabilities as a gas-powered Wrangler because all of the electric components are enclosed in watertight containers, and sturdy skid plates guard the batteries against damage caused by off-road driving. The 800-volt battery packs in the Magneto 2.0 are identical to those in the original model, but they now power a unique axial flux electric motor. Dissatisfied with the Magneto's performance from the previous year, Jeep increased the system's total amperage by more than double, enabling the SUV to generate 625 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. According to Jeep, the system can even maintain peak amperage for up to 10 seconds, which is comparable to applying nitrous in a gas-powered vehicle. The carmaker claims that this enables the SUV to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.0 seconds. For comparison, the hybrid Wrangler has a 0 to 60 time of 5.9 seconds. Even more impressive is the fact that this truck still retains a six-speed manual gearbox. 
Whether or not this makes it to the finished version still remains a question though. You might be shocked to find out that Jeep did not actually modify the motors in the Magneto to attain that output. They were capable of delivering that all along. New software parameters for the powertrain and an improved transmission that can handle the power are what led to the new ratings. To ensure that the vehicle could manage all that power, the engineers at Jeep had to make numerous modifications. Beginning with the chassis, Jeep extended the wheelbase by 12 inches to mirror the appearance of an earlier LJ Wrangler. The carmaker then added a new 3.36 ratio for the first gear, as well as a Rubicon Rock Track transfer case. Both the Dynatrack 60 Pro Rock front axle and the Dynatrack 80 Pro Rock rear axle have lockers. A set of 20-inch wheels shod with enormous 40-inch tires transfers all that power to the ground. Although an unusual choice, Jeep maintains the position of the BEV as an open laboratory to acquire a succinct sense of how this vehicle is tested in a real-world environment. Jeep also left the stick axles, slow suspension, and transfer case. A custom bikini top, carbon fiber details, and surf blue paint with unique designs are other exterior highlights. The underhood power unit is also visible through a blue-hued window on an eye-catching hood. Jeep added a 2.0-inch lift kit, rock rails, 35-inch tires, and a worn winch to the Magneto. It has a cool early 90s beach cruiser vibe thanks to the custom roll cage and white-black-blue paint scheme. Like any electric vehicle, the Magneto starts by pressing a button. Jim Morrison, senior VP of Jeep and president of Jeep for North America, recommends starting the car with both the clutch and brake engaged just in case. Between the seats, right next to the recognizable transfer case selector for two-wheel drive and both low and high-range four-wheel drive operation, is a big old cue ball manual shifter. You choose a gear appropriate for the road, or lack thereof, because the manual transmission is redundant, and you step off from a stop tilting onto the throttle like you would in a typical BEV. The trick to this powertrain setup is that for off-roading, lower ratios offer the optimum grip and speed control. Now, for being honest, a manual gearbox behind an electric engine would, for all intents and purposes, be kind of dumb for a true road-going BEV. There isn't much gain in that equation. However, regardless of the type of propulsion, gear reduction and speed control are critical in the off-roading environment where crawling is essential, whether it be over stones, through mud, or anywhere else that requires highly delicate, rheostat-like control over power and throttle. Additionally, it offers much better handling on traction-poor downhill terrain. In reality, Jeep had the motor's regeneration calibrated so that even extremely steep hills will require a cracked throttle. When applied to ICE-powered off-roaders employing throttle and brake assistance, that is an elegant engineering solution to the entire hill descent control problem. When this EV does eventually come out, it should sell for about $50,000. In September, Jeep had its 4XE Day event, where the SUV manufacturer announced its plans to electrify its entire lineup over the next couple years. So apparently, Jeep intends to add new plug-in hybrid models to its current lineup. But the highlight of the event was the announcement of two brand new fully electric SUVs scheduled to debut in 2024. The Quick Wagoneer S and this boxy beauty known as the all-new Jeep Recon, which is essentially an all-electric Wrangler, but not quite. This new EV is not going to be a replacement for the Wrangler, though. Jeep CEO Christian Moynier made it clear in an interview with Motor Trend that regardless of powertrain, the Wrangler will keep getting better. While the Recon debuts on the market in 2025 as a full battery electric vehicle, the Wrangler will continue to offer a combustion engine and the 4XE plug-in hybrid option for some time. The Wrangler is the king, trail rated 10, best in class, the king of the hill, says the Jeep boss. The Recon is going to be a very good contender, but it is not going to be as good. The EV was created in the same design studio as the Wrangler, according to Ralph Gills, Chief Design Officer at Stellantis, and the two vehicles are comparable in size and proportion. Its packaging is a little different, though, as it is based on the same STLA large platform as the Wagoneer S. Large tires, a long travel suspension, aggressive approach, departure and breakover angles, as well as the Wrangler's distinctive two-box shape, are all carried over to the Recon. Jeep fans would be excited to see this new SUV, but probably not as much as they are to see the Wrangler EV.
So what do you think about the all-new Jeep Wrangler EV? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching today. We truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV and tech news.